I know where the big one lives. And I'm gonna serve him a snack. Oh, there we go. First nice fish of the day. There we go. Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh, what a shame. That's fishing. Let's have a look at that swimming action right there. There we go. Herring loaded lip skull. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Right up in the wind. Wow. Oh. Good fish. Ha <laughs> ha. Bam. There we go. Oh. Good one. First cast of the day, soft four play 19 centimeter, dirty roach. I'm just gonna throw that swim bait across uh, the sunken lily pad here and hopefully there's gonna be a big pike waiting for me. First cast, let's do it. So right under there is a, normally in the summer. Oi! Oh, got it, right there. Just a jack, beautiful jack. Let's put him back. All right, first fish. All right, I'm just gonna show you how to rig up the big soft foreplay here on a very light jig head. This is a 12 and a half gram ball jig head. I've put on a small treble hook stinger like so. I'm just gonna put that on here. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put it totally straight through, I'm just going to give the body just a little curve so I get this fantastic action in the water. So, and then I'm just going to give it a little drop of super glue just before I put it all the way up. Just going to super glue that a little bit like that. And then we are ready to go. So it has a little bit of curve to it. I've got the stinger aligned like so. I'm going to put the stinger here on the side like that. And then we're ready to go. I'm just going to have get a little uh, lip skull ready here. So it's the foreplay lip skull. So I have the crankbait version of a 19 centimeter foreplay. Just remove that little pin, put in the soft lure. And then I can put the pin back through the gill. And we're ready to rock. Comes out beautiful like that. Soft four play in the lip skull. Okay, let's go get a fish. All right, just gonna work. Oh, huge strike. Oh, again. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come on, take him, take him, take him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wait on the hooks. Gonna get one now. Oh, there we go. Oh, it didn't take long. Wow. So four play right there. Come on. Here you go, Martin. Have a look at that. There we go. Yeah. First nice fish of the day. There you go, soft four play. I'm just gonna show you how to repair uh, the soft four play here. I've just had a massive strike on it. So I'm just gonna take the offset treble hook here 
just going to take that out. Just going to pop that right back in, like so. I'm going to use a bit of super glue, and just to repair the area, and just put a little drop of super glue in, and then secure it. Then put just a little tad of super glue. When you fish for pike, they do tend to be very aggressive and they will rip your soft floor to parts, to bits, but you can easily mend them with a bit of super glue. So I'm just gonna hold that together for a little while and then we're ready one more time. I know where the big one lives and I'm gonna serve him a snack. Nice follow, nice follow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There, oh. Just gonna pop on the baby side here. Leave the big one in the water. And then I'm just gonna it went that direction in there. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh. Keep right charging at it. <laughs> Better put this one out of the water. There we go. Oh, did he have it or what? Look at that. Oh. Yeah! Soft for play. Beautiful attack right there. Nice fish. Then I'm going to show you how to hook the soft for play with this wide gap offset hook. So I open first the slot in the belly, I pass the hook straight through so it comes right out the back like that and I take that up into the nose and up through there. So the hook is basically hidden like so inside. That's the way to fish it. Slow there, right in front of the boat he took it. Okay, now we're gonna go out and do some trolling. We're going to search the big basang here of the lake to see if we can find the pike, and we're going to use natural baits in the foreplay lip skulls. The first one, I'm simply just gonna take, this is a herring, I'm just gonna pass that into the lip skull and put the pin straight through. As you can see, the pin comes in right behind the gill plate, so that holds it good in position here. Then, for this one, I've just added an extra swivel here between the two spit rings, just to give that one a little more balance. So we're going to troll this one next to a, a soft foreplay. Soft foreplay, as you see, comes in very easy into the lip skull. I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to use a piece of meat, just to give a little extra attraction before I load the soft foreplay. So I'm just going to cut a slice of meat like that. I'm going to load that into the head, so I got that great uh, smell here of uh, dead bait, and then I'm going to put the soft foreplay play in after, so that will just give you that scent. There we go, come straight through. So that is a scented soft foreplay play right there. Let's see how that works. I'm just going to find the right troll speed here. If you have a look at that lure, see how erratic that swims. See that right there is just going to do the trick. Well, this one I'm just going to put out about 20 meters. I'm going to lock this rod in position. So, so this is actually a, a real herring I've put into that lip skull, if you have a look at that action. Just have a look at that. There we go, fish on, fish on. Ah, oh, lost it. That was a fish on right there. Damn. That was a fish on. Oh, bite again. 
He's taking it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I had several bites. Oh, yep. There we go. He was following that. Oh, good. So that was the soft foreplay. And the lip skull with the sander. Just loaded that with a little strip of herring. And it just got hammered down there. Look there. There we go. Wah. So, oh, oh, what a shame, we lost him. That's fishing. See, we got the soft foreplay here loaded up with that little piece of herring meat in there. Superb. Let's try again. Six, you know. Oi. Yep, there we go. Oh. That was a good bite. Oh, that is a nice fish, I think. See that back there? Yep. So we just couldn't resist that soft foreplay there. So the soft foreplay is out fishing the real herring right now in the lip skull. What we have done, oh, I think this one has got an eel coming out the mouth. Let's have a look at that. That's a very interesting phenomenon here. See that? Something is coming out of the mouth of that fish. See on the side? He's got an eel coming out. He's had a very big eel there, you can see. It's coming an eel out on the mouth there. Could condition that fish. Yep, got him. Oh, what a fat fish. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice one. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That was about 10 minutes of trolling, right on the soft foreplay. Bam. So this menu holds a lot of eels, and it's very obvious that this one had a big eel for supper some days ago. There you go. Let's just measure up. And that one just goes 99 centimeters right there. All right, let's put her back. I'm just gonna hold her for a second here. And then, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Good one! Let's have a look at that swimming action right there. Wow! Oh yeah, there we go. So we just loaded a herring into the lip skull, put it behind the boat, and BAM! There we go. Still got the bait fish hanging in there. On the money. There you go. Herring loaded lip skull. Beautiful fish. I'm just gonna search. Just seen a little bit of bait fish. Oh, there we go. There was one. Oh, that feels like a big perch. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look. Oh. Totally gin clear water. He just took that foreplay, just vertical, jig that right over that little top. Wow. Oh, I got it. Oh. <laughs> nice one. Have a look at that one. Super perch. Thank you. I just break that one upside down on a jig head, 10 gram jig head, right over that top. Beautiful perch. There's got to be more where that one came from. Just measure that one up. I think that one is going to be at least 45, 46 and a half. Beautiful fish. Woo. Look at that one. Let's put it back. Oh. Yep. There we go. Oi. Could be a big fish, this. There you go. Nice fish, right on the lip skull. Bam!